Yo, what's going on today everyone? Uh, it's been a while since I made a video. Actually, a couple days ago, I did record a talking video and realized my mic wasn't plugged in, so, you know, like, I lost the whole footage. So probably in the near future, I will re-record that video for you guys. But today, I got something a bit special. Um, just to catch up all of you guys watching, I, I got a bunch of subscribers recently, so I want to show everyone what's going on. Alright, so if you guys are new to the channel, or if you guys already know what's going on, you guys know that I installed my Jackson Racing Supercharger back at the end of fall uh, 2020 and I did my tuning um, right before the winter and I completed my tune thankfully um, right before winter and I ended up parking the car and didn't get to do the custom features that get added to these tunes. So, so Zach at Counterspace Garage gave me the tune a while ago actually that'll do launch control and auto rev matching and a couple other things and that'll basically completely uh, wrap up the tune for this car. So car is running fine. This was just like the additional features that I requested that um, Typically he includes but I didn't get to do it because I had the car winter parked and I guess this is also a good time to show you guys what goes on um, When you try to tune your car with EQ tech because I know for a lot of you guys it is new Most of you guys are probably on open flash tablet. And I'm getting a lot of questions and DMS about like how I feel about both um, So I guess I could show you guys today how it looks like tuning your car with EQ tech. All right, so for any of you guys that are new to this, uh, when you tune your car with EQTEC, you will get a tuner kit. And um, I, I chose to get the Bluetooth dongle. Um, you can also get a wired one, but I, I find this is um, really helpful. You can pair it with your phone and um, get real-time data display, logging, uh, a bunch of parameters. You can view a lot of stuff. It's actually super helpful. You can do data logs for your car and download it directly to your phone and send it to your tuner. So um, highly advise using this. It's pretty convenient. Um, you also get your license, so this is on the USB key they send. This is going to be unique to you and your car. Um, this is something that you can sell if you want at some point later on. Um, and you also get uh, a cable so that you can plug in this guy to your laptop when you do the tuning. Unfortunately with the Bluetooth app you cannot actually do tuning yet, but um, you can do the data logging from there. Right, so I've downloaded the newest tune uh, that Zach sent me. And I've got a PDF here. I think most tuners will send you like just written instructions of how to do your thing. So if you guys are working with a tuner, just follow their instructions. But I'm just going to show you kind of um, a brief overview of what this is like. All right, so I've plugged in the EQTEC dongle with the wire going to your to the uh, Windows laptop. Got the key plugged in and um, opened up Pro ECU. That's the EQTEC software. So we got the car on, engine not started, but the car is on. You're gonna come up here and hit tools, detect vehicle. It's gonna find your thing, and then you're gonna keep yourself on program engine ECU. Just make sure it does find the right car. If not, um, check your instructions to see if there's a way that you gotta change that or talk to your tuner. Um, do do hit okay. And now it'll start pulling stuff. So information, and what you're going to want to do is open custom ROM file, and here you're going to find the file you want to use. So I've got that saved somewhere here, and I want to try my newest tune. Open. It does a little checkout, and then you can just hit program ECU. So it starts doing its thing. Um, it's going to let you know when everything is done. All right, yeah, and one of the other cool things out here, I'm not sure how well you guys can see that, but um, the gauge becomes a progress bar and all your lights start flashing, basically. Um, so when that gets all the way up to red line, it'll start flashing and the pin will drop back down. And um, that means your tune's done. And this thing will let you know here as well. All right, so now we see that's done says here, switch ignition off, so turn that off. Now switch it back on. This thing is finishing up. And there you go. Now this is done, you wanna clear uh, DTCs, just hit yes. And there you go. Programming sequence has not completed. So at this point, um, different tuners will ask you to do different things. 
um, now that your car is tuned, you can actually um, set up your data log if your tuner has requested for you. Um, you're gonna wanna do that before you actually turn your car on. So at this point, if that's what you're supposed to do, set up your data log. Uh, Counter Space Garage, for example, gives um, some instructions to uh, turn on certain variables and change their output format so that you know the tuner can check it and understand the variables uh, easily. So if that's what you're instructed to do, follow your tuner's instructions, um, set up your data log. Uh, I'll do that quickly here as well. Um, and at that point, um, you're almost ready to start driving. Okay, so now that your car is done being tuned, you can actually start setting up your data log. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hit file and you're gonna open um, custom ROM file. And you're gonna find the file you just used. Open that up. And this is gonna open up all the parameters that your EQ Tech uh, device and your tuner have uh, enabled for you. So there's a lot of stuff here. I'm not gonna go through any of it, but you know, like there's a, a lot. Um, you're gonna see um, basically there's all the different parameters. There's the units it records in. So those your tuner might request uh, specific units to make his life a little bit easier. And what you're gonna do is, you can set up a custom place to log your files. Uh, there's an option here somewhere. So that's gonna log CSV files. And that means you can open that yourself and look at that. It's not encoded in any way. It's very easy to read. So if you ever wanna look at your own data logs, it's super easy to do. And what you do is once you have everything set up as per your tuner's request, you hit map access. Now you get this green bar and it has a red outline, which means right now it's reading stuff from your ECU, but it's not logging anything. And then you're gonna hit log to file, and now it's gone green. And now everything that you had selected is now logged to a file. Now the other thing you can do, which is what I've started to do now, is once I tune the car, I put the laptop away, and I open up the EQ Tech or ECU Connect app, hit my car, that'll connect by Bluetooth, just make sure you pair yourself early on. It only accepts one phone at a time, so if like you have a different phone or a different device, like a tablet or something, uh, connected to it, uh, only one of these is going to work at once. And what you're going to want to do is go to data logging. It's going to open up the same parameter list and you're going to see stuff here. So uh, you can hit settings and you can toggle stuff on off, whatever you want. Um, do the same thing for your tuner, whatever you want. And you can start logging here. It does the exact same thing. And this logs to your phone and then you can email it directly to your tuner, which is super convenient much better than having a laptop out on the passenger seat or something, um, super handy. Another cool thing with uh, the e ECU Connect app is you can make custom dashboards. I've kind of just made this one super quickly um, just to show parameters while I'm driving. I don't actually look at this, but uh, if I do notice something, which I've never had a problem so far, but if I were to notice something, I could actually look at here and see you know, what my temperatures were or whatever. And any of those parameters you saw, you can actually add to the dashboard. Um, and there's a bunch of different charts and stuff to add as well. Um, another cool thing with this is performance analyzer. Do not use this on public roads. So this is what we're gonna do to measure our zero to 60 or zero to 100 kilometers an hour. Um, I think this is gonna be a lot more accurate because it is reading speed from your ECU rather than using like a GPS based app. Those are pretty trash. Um, so this is gonna be pretty cool. We're gonna try that. Um, Look at launch control, this is already set to 4,000 RPM and you can just change that to whatever you want. We'll experiment with that too. Uh, map switching, so I don't know which one is which right now, but um, I asked Zach to have my standard tune on one and uh, basically a race car version of the tune on the other that has uh, launch control enabled, auto rev matching enabled, um, traction control I think is disabled, I'm not sure. But all those things should be toggles that you can add to your dashboard. And um, here you go, traction control on by default, pretty sick. All right, and last thing um, for you guys that have tuned your cars already, you know um, after an open flash tablet tune or an EQ Tech tune even, uh, you get a little bit of a dead pedal, which takes a little bit of driving to uh, make your ECU relearn your, relearn your throttle position. Um, so one, one tip uh, Counter Space Garage provides is um, putting your car into the on position right after you tune your car. And don't start your car, but in the on position, you can slowly go between zero to 100% throttle on your gas pedal 10 times. Um, and that should help your ECU relearn uh, a little bit quicker. 
Uh, it'll, it'll probably still do some relearning as you drive, but it should help it snap into um, you know, regular operation a little bit sooner than it would normally. Yeah, so there's one tip for you guys if you guys are tuning your car even with OFT. Um, try that out if you guys are noticing that your your pedal is like really laggy and your, your throttle is not coming on. Um, try that, let me know in the comments below if that helps you guys as well. Yo, I just found out something that's so sick. So I was just messing around with my dashboard trying to add some features. I was looking at the map switching and check this out. So when I hit two, that switches over to 2000 RPM. It waits to confirm and it switches back to idle, which is pretty cool. So if I switch this back to map one, that goes back to one. And then it goes back to my idle RPM. So that's one way of switching maps if you have Tech. Another way is your cruise control stock. So if I hold it towards me, um, then I can, I mean, I only have two maps. So I can go between one and two. And let's say I wanna go back to map one. I, uh, sorry for the reflection and the glare there, but uh, once I do that, I hold, I press it back towards me and you saw it drop and back into RPM. And that actually does switch to whichever one you had here. So that's pretty awesome. I'm thinking map one is like the default map I had and map two is the like launch control crazy race car one. Um, so I'm gonna drive around for a bit, get the feel of the car, make sure the um, throttle pedal has relearned itself. Uh, make sure the tune is running as I expect, my numbers and temperatures look good and all that. Um, and then I'm gonna slap on the GoPro and show you guys the features and uh, launch control times. Let's go.